interesting how they'll continue to avoid it in the end. The first time I've asked to be a part of a bigger movement. Surrounded by doubt and confusion, it's unclear what I want and how I've been raised. Don't fit, but hit just as hard as the presidential candidates. Slam each other in these debates. And 19 years old, and I've been given the right to vote and say my piece and decide. But with the slander and hate, I seriously want to hide from all this angst and the rudeness. I'd rather know what you're going to do through this presidency and how it's not going to affect only me, but my mother, my father, my sister, and my friends. Yeah, I've got a lot to consider for the first time. With the officials over our heads, I know that the state will go blue, even though I've seen red my whole life. To me, they're just two hues that refuse to compromise. This is the first time that I see my thoughts and my beliefs being blurred and expanded into something that should be reprimanded by either side of these political lines, but this is it. This is the first time. This is the first time I've been judged by my friends without them knowing it. The first time my uterus has been a topic and a bill to me. The first time my right to bear arms is conflicting with how I've seen the world since infancy and how it will forever be for the next four years for me. Republican childhood in a liberal arts college, a girl who feels loved but not sure how to take the responsibility and show it. Do I contradict my God or justify what I see to fit the sea of tossing political ideologies? But now it's it. This is the first time the sound of the pen really hit. The first time that I scribbled that dot on the page in a haze daze, but fully alert and alive, and I see that dot, and I know I just made a contribution so 